All right, you guys. What we got here today is a homemade generator. Solar power generator. We got a... Uh, what is that? 50 watt solar panel on this setup. Okay. We got a cooler as the as the um holder. We also put two holes back here for negative and positive. It comes through here. And also we put another hole here for the solar controller to get hooked up. So let's go in here and plug that on in. Okay. So now that that's plugged in, we just stuff that down in there. And I'm going to tell you exactly. Okay. And we're going to plug in the, the solar panel as well. I made this for a very portable, nice and portable job. Okay, solar panel is plugged in. All right. So I'm going to explain to you guys what's going on. All right. So this is very simple inside of here. We took these two wires. These go to the inverter. We drilled two holes going back here to come out into the inverter. Then we got two more wires coming from here to here, negative and positive, coming through the charge control. That is plugged into here. I got that from Walmart for about 10 bucks. I got an Everstart battery inside of here. I got this for about 100 bucks at Walmart as well. Got this cooler for about $25 at Walmart as well. And, um, okay, so basically we did that hook up there. So that's that. So negative and positive feeds to here from back there. So the controller is here. And this is our. power right here we're running on a 1200 watt setup and we're about to get some things going so we can check it out so um let me go get my multimeter multimeter i'm gonna try to do this with one hand we're going to turn this on volts and we're going to just stick both of these in there. Right now we're about 12.51 volts. So that means that she's pretty much fully charged and um, everything is working well. All right, so let me sit the multimeter down. And we're going to get a couple of appliances that runs on high power. So first things first, if you do tint windows or anything in that nature, and you would like to do mobile window tinting, then this would be a great setup. So we got a heat gun. Keep going. It's on. She's going hot. Now we're running on high. Okay. Now once she get hot, you see, oil was hot on the inside. Nothing's connected. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. We got that. We did a heat gun on there. Um, 
Let's do a shop thing. I'm gonna do a couple of items just to, you know, get it going. Ugh. All right. So we got our fan here. Right now we're running on low. You see it? That feels pretty damn good. And uh, that is a medium. Oh, she's blasting. Okay. So, we got that. We got that. And we can leave that plugged in. All right, so what else could we use to power this um, inverter? Let's see. Okay, I got a phone. Uh, phone. Okay, fast charger. Let's see. Phone is charging. Right now, it is at 14%. We got a phone on there. And we got the fan going. Fan, phone. Um, I really don't have, oh. Another thing that we can test out for this setup. Is a vacuum. So if you got a detail in business and you really want to, you know, have a shop vac outside with solar power, this would be uh, probably a good decision. Oh, okay, so. She went into um, uh, let's unplug this for a second. She went into the mode. tripped the wire at first. to the multimeter and see what we got going on and inside of here we don't have much light so um 
That means that the solar panel is definitely um, not charging at the moment. So, after vacuuming the floor, we are down to 12.31 volts, which is pretty much enough to, um, you know, keep running some, um, some items. We're gonna open this box up. Ugh. We're going to check the temperature of the battery. Temperature of the battery is still nice and cool. Um, yeah, so um, if you uh, want to get one of these or anything like that or build one yourself, you can send me some messages or um, you can just buy one from me and I can build it and send it to you. Um, smash up that like button and subscribe um, if you got any questions or anything like that. I will definitely help you out. And guess what? The solar panel is not charging because it's not red right now. So that was just like strictly battery. But... What I will do is run one more test for you guys. We're gonna go get some solar energy from outside. Okay. So we're gonna roll this back here. Go get the solar panel. Mm. Dude, this is only a 50 watt panel. I used up about not much energy, but I used up enough. Right. So there we go. We got the solar panel outside. Now, as you can see, this light right here is red. Let's get the multimeter. Put it down. Another test real fast while wow, it's on the multimeter and 3.6 we are at 3.1 just a second ago so let's see what happens all right now we turn this off this box remember my phone is on the charger still so we unplug this off turn off this and pretty much let that solar panel go to work after doing all of that I should be right back around where we started at okay see that now we're at 40, 12, 42, we're at 50 when we started vacuuming. So um, there you go, you guys. This is what you gotta do to, um, whatchamacallit, we're getting power as we speak right now. Now we disconnect the panel. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. Uh. Now that the panel is disconnected, we're gonna go ahead and do one more test to see how much battery we got. And you see it, you see it. In just that couple of seconds, that battery has come back up tremendously. So, yeah. What I recommend building this machine yes 100 percent it's lovely savage let's go this is my boy right here savvy come here boy say hi to everybody say smash up that like button you gonna smash it up come on jump jump good boy from clubhouse
Innocence Crawford is talking. Fuck Rajis. Fuck Walati. Fuck Key. Fuck Fuck AJ. Fuck Mexi. W. Stephen A. Smith. Naya Ray B Z Z and Leah Vuitton. Okay. Tap to listen in. That's a good boy right there. Oh, Savvy, go get into your cage. Go get in. He listens really good. That's my boy. That's my boy. All right, you guys. Thank you again. And um, I'll be back to you with some more. I got the whole build. Smash up that like and subscribe button. And I'll show you exactly what I did to build this thing and how I did it. Baltimore life.